Okay. Hello, my name is Megan. I am a PhD student in the Department of Material Science and Engineering, and I am going to be solving uh, question number nine from the summer 2012 MSE 101 final exam. So the question states, using the uranium gallium phase diagram below, answer the following questions. Part A, circle and name all of the invariant reactions occurring on this phase diagram. So here's the uranium gallium phase diagram. Now if you recall, an invariant reaction occurs whenever three phases exist, coexist um, simultaneously. And so the most obvious uh, and apparent uh, invariant point is here. This is your standard eutectic point. And so here we're going from a liquid into a two-phase solid region. Now are there any other points where we have three phases existing concurrently? So the first one is up here. At this point, we have three phases, and at this point, we do as well. So in both of these cases, we are going from a liquid plus solid solution to right on this line, a single solid solution exists. These are both peritectic reactions. And if we look at the rest of the phase diagram, there don't appear to be any other places where we have three phases existing together. And so we're done part A. Part B states, calculate the amount of eutectic uranium-2 gallium-3 in a 13 weight percent gallium alloy of this system at 1,000 degrees Celsius. Okay, so if we come back to the phase diagram now, we see that this eutectic occurs at 8 weight percent gallium, and it is just above 1,000 degrees Celsius. So 13 percent will be right about here. And at 1,000 degrees, that puts us in this location here. So the first thing we can do at this point is calculate, is determine what are the phases that are present. So we have on this side gamma uranium. And also present in this region is the phase uranium-2 gallium-3, denoted by this line here. So these two phases both exist simultaneously, and we are at 1,000 degrees Celsius and 13 weight percent gallium. So we're trying to find the amount of eutectic uranium-2 gallium-3 that exists. The first thing to do is calculate the total amount of uranium-2 gallium-3. So we're at 1,000 degrees Celsius, and we can draw two tie lines. So one tie line comes over to this uh, region boundary, and this is at 30.5 weight percent gallium. And the other side of the tie line goes over to zero. So if we want to find out our total weight percent, uranium-2, gallium-3, Then from the tie line, we can see that we have thirteen minus zero. So we're going from our total weight percent all the way over to this boundary, divided by thirty point five minus zero. So this is the total length of our tie line, and this gives us. 42.6 weight percent. So our total uranium-2 gallium-3 in this two-phase region is 42.6 weight percent gallium. But in this region, we have two types of uranium-2 gallium-3. We have primary uranium-2 gallium-3, which solidified in this two-phase region, where we have liquid plus uranium-2 gallium-3. And then once we cross past the eutectic, all of the liquid that's remaining will solidify at the eutectic composition and give us our total amount of eutectic uranium-2 gallium-3. So in order to find just the uranium-2 gallium-3, we need to first find the amount of primary uranium-2 gallium-3. 
So this solidifies at the eutectic temperature. So, or at the, so here, we can draw our tie line from 13 weight percent over to the eutectic point at 8 percent. And in the other direction, back to this boundary of uranium-2, gallium-3 at 30.5 weight percent. So this is primary uranium-2, gallium-3. And here we have 13 minus 8 over 30.5 minus 8 times 100%. And this will give us 22.2 weight percent uranium-2, gallium-3. So this is our total uranium-2, gallium-3. This is our primary uranium-2, gallium-3. Okay, okay, so our total now eutectic uranium-2, gallium-3 is just simply the difference between these two values. So we have 42.6% minus 22.2%, which gives us 20.4 weight percent uranium-2-gallium-3 for the eutectic structure. 